Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got another first impressions video to do for you. Uh, this is a knife that I've been excited to try for a long time. Um, if you've watched my Benchmade Bug Out video, you know that that is one of my favorite knives that I own. Um, I just feel like the Bug Out, for the amount it costs and for how dreamy it is to carry in pocket, um, is kind of a knife that everybody should have one of. <laughs> um, it's a knife that I can put into basketball shorts, board shorts, um, whatever I'm wearing, it's comfortable in, like literally whatever pants I have on, um, whether I'm just out running to the mailbox and I don't want to get dressed and I'm literally in basketball shorts or if I'm going to the beach. Um, I've literally had the bug out in my board shorts pocket to go to the beach, been at the beach all day with it in there and it hasn't bugged me at all. Um, so the bug out's a fantastic knife, but now, they have come out with the mini bug out. Um, you might be asking yourself, wasn't the bug out already small enough? Um, probably, yeah. I, I didn't necessarily think I needed a mini bug out, but then they announced one and I think it's really cool. So uh, this is one that my brother just bought and I'm borrowing it uh, just to check out to decide if I want to end up uh, buying one for myself. So I'm going to be doing a, a little bit of a, a carry test with this. Um, I've got so many things incoming and I'm borrowing a couple of knives from him that I can't say I'm going to be carrying this for like a week straight or anything like that. I've just got too many, too many things that'll be demanding some, some pocket time. Um, but I'll carry this a fair bit. I'll use it a decent little bit. It's not mine, so I'm not going to beat on it or anything like that. Um, but I'm just going to check it out, put it through its paces a little bit and, uh, see how it does. Now I will say, um, for hands, my size, I don't have very large hands. I usually wear a medium glove, sometimes large, depending on the brand. Um, I am just barely able to get four fingers on here. It's right at the end. Um, so if you've got larger hands, you'll probably prefer the regular bug out and the regular bug out already isn't that big of a knife. So, um, for me, this works though. It's uh, I can get full four fingers on it. Um, in a saber grip, I find that my pinky starts to come off, uh, just the way that my fingers kind of slant then I run out of real estate there, but it's still comfortable in hand, even though I can kind of feel where the butt of the knife ends. Everything's nice and round back here. The bug out clip, I already know, doesn't bother my hand. Um, so yeah, it, even in a saber grip, it still works. Um, you've still got a fair bit of blade length. Um, I'm not positive what these are. I'd have to look. It's like two and a half inches, I think. Sounds right. Maybe it's just sub three. I don't know. Anywho, um, if you want to look at the specs of this knife, I'm sure it's elsewhere. Um, the regular bug out is like 1.9 ounces. Um, this is, I don't know, 1.6, something like that. It's, it's light. Um, it's lighter than the regular bug out. Um, do I need a lighter knife than the regular bug out? I don't know, but is lighter a bad thing? No, definitely not. Um, this thing, it's just, it feels like nothing, but it still feels sturdy. Uh, like the regular bug out does. It's got good lockup. No blade play, forward, backward, side to side, anything like that. Uh, still the same access lock. This one does feel um, a little less smooth than mine. That could be because mine is a little broken in, but I feel like when my bug out was new, it was a little smoother than this one. Um, I know my brother hasn't done anything to the pivot on this. He hasn't added lube, anything like that. So this is just the way it came out of the box. Um, but yeah, I really dig that they did the kind of stormtrooper motif on here. I think it's rad with the white and black. Um, I think it's a cool colorway. And, uh, the only other option I think right now on this one is orange with satin. Um, I am sure over time, I shouldn't say I'm sure, I'm confident that over time, uh, Benchmade will be releasing probably a full black version and who knows, um, the bug out does really well for them. And over time on the regular bug out, uh, there have been a few different varieties that you can buy. Um, so I imagine if this does well, they'll do the same thing with this. It's uh, it seems to be popular so far. I've seen quite a few people with them. Um, yeah, the real test for me, I suppose is going to be whether there's any advantage to this one over the regular bug out because the regular bug out is already nice and thin feels small enough to me. I can carry it in my waistband. I can carry it in any pocket. Um, it's so lightweight that I don't really notice it. So the question will be compared to not noticing a knife, can I like 
really not notice having a knife. I don't know. We'll see where the line is um, with this one, whether it's whether it's an improvement. Um, but it's intriguing nonetheless. I think it looks cool. If you do get this one um, and you want to customize it, this is the perfect starting point to rit dye a handle. Um, you could make this any color you want because it's starting as white, which is really cool. Um, rit dyeing is super easy. There's a bunch of how-to videos out there. Um, I've done a bunch of rit dyeing on knives. I've rit dyed bug outs before. Um, I had a, a really cool one that started as the regular blue with satin blade, um, the original bug out. And I added like a lime green or like a highlighter yellow um, to it and it turned it into this really cool like aqua color. Um, so I called it like the Aquaman bug out. That's pretty rad. Anywho, um, this is an interesting little piece. I'll be uh, doing a full review after I've used it a fair bit, but figured I'd show you uh, that it is in my possession and uh, give you some first impressions. And the first impressions are good. It feels like a bug out, just smaller. That's exactly what it is. Um, if you've seen my regular bug out video, you'll know I already love the knife. I'm behind it. Um, this one, the construction feels identical, just like, uh, I don't know, it's like a Microtech Ultratech versus a UTX-85. feels like the same knife, just smaller, because it is. Um, so, time will tell. We'll see how it does. But uh, yeah, these are my first impressions of the mini bug out in Stormtrooper configuration. White with black blade, S30V. It's a bug out. <laughs>